Hello everybody, welcome back to Modded Minecraft. This is Seth Tech Ages. I am Mars Capone and I'm playing with Cresconio. As you can see behind me, I've done some work here on the Blood Magic base. Put in a nice floor here. These uh, blocks of emeralds were for beacons because the tier 5 altar needs uh, 4 beacons. And I actually built one up. I don't think I've talked about this. I actually built one up here. Because I thought I'm going to give it regen so I can cut myself and then um, regen. But the beacons are bugged in Savtech Ages. I don't know what it is, but if I put a beacon here, it will only work when I'm standing here. Or here, in a straight line. Won't work if I'm here. Won't work if I'm higher up than the beacon. It's really weird. There's some bug reports I found on the internet, but no one really had a way to solve it, so... No beacons. But I left the emerald there, because it's nice and ugly. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, but more importantly, I've automated these two altars. Um, let's go have a look at them. It's basically a copy design of these. Uh, here's a few of my witches. They're so happy. And here's some more of my witches. Also very happy. They're living a, they're, they're having a great life. Trust me. And um yeah, I set up an ME system here. This is not the best system for what I'm using it for. And not, not the best layout. But I just really like the way it looks. <laughs> so that's what I went with. Um I'm gonna sleep and show you how this works. Something else we've done, and it's been a long time coming, is the wireless terminal. So I'm here at Blood Magic, but I do have access to the ME terminal over there. It's amazing. And I can take stuff from it, I could I can put stuff in it, I can craft stuff from here. I'm not gonna craft a jetpack. Are you crazy? Um so yeah, we tried this before, but we couldn't get it to work. And now Cresconio set it up in a different world, modded world he's playing in. And he, he figured out how it works, and we managed to set it up. So it's real convenient. If you look at the map, uh, here's our factory, and it basically covers everything. Our whole base. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, I was going to show you this. So I set up a separate ME system, just for this purpose. So I have glass in here, I have large bloodstone tiles, I have um, uh, a thingy, a barrel, a drawer, <laughs> a drawer full of stone here. And that's all we need for all this stuff. So let's see if we can make it tier 7 one. Mm, I think we're a little... Well, we can we can schedule a few more of these. So we need the blank runes, the blank slates, I mean, for the blank runes. And those are created here. Automatically with import and export buses from ME. I copied the redstone clock, so it only inserts one stone at a time, like I did here. And, and this recipe is this. So we have the blood herb in there, we have the blank slates and the stone. So 242 divided by two is 121, is that correct? So let's see. Yes, perfect. And then I just manually do this, and then I just manually do this, because uh, <laughs> it would take a lot of uh, molecular assemblers and recipes and stuff to automate this. And I kind of like doing it manual, because it gives me more sense... Oh, you're short a few. gives me more sense of progress or something. I don't know. But yeah, we got almost four tier five. And then we can make mo one more tier 7, then we can make one more tier 8, and one more tier 9. And then we're almost there. We need ten of uh, 8 of these. Ooh, we're getting close. So yeah. Uh, that's it for here. Not too shabby. And while AFK and we've also been working on this, this is Cresconio's project. The um, miners, the void miners. Um, 
He removed all the cables and replaced them with quantum entangler porters. He built a floor in here. Oh, we put water in here. Because it's safer, because mobs can't spawn, uh, except fishes, I guess. Uh, and it still works, by the looks of it. So everything is spawn-proof at the moment inside here. So that's very nice, because uh, these are half slabs. Um, this is water, and we have some lights here. So if I press F7, we don't see any red crosses, except if we go here. So yeah, this is not spawn-proof, but the rest of it is. Very nice. Um, let's have a look-see from the outside. This is the front. It's not quite finished yet, but uh, slowly but surely getting there. And I've been working a little bit. I've been starting with something here. The roof. I'm going with nickel sheet metal. Which is a nice shade of gray. <laughs> Ish. And then some random blocks to go with it. And then it's going to be a lot of puzzling to find a way to connect all these roofs. <laughs> Especially if we do some uh, elevations. So this is going to be interesting. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh yeah. And I guess we can have a look at our cobblestone. How are you doing? Eight. Oh my lord, it's getting there. Slowly but surely it's getting there. And eventually it actually got there. Um, this is post commentary. And we did it. We have 9 out of 9 6 times compressed cobblestone, which is being turned into the ninth 7 times compressed cobblestone. Which uh, you'll see here. There we go, 9 out of 9, 7 times compressed cobblestone, which is turned into 8 times compressed cobblestone, which is the final ingredient for the creative compressor, air compressor. And as you can see here, Cresconio will put all the ingredients into our ultimate crafting table in a moment here. Yeah, there we go. Almost. He's gathering up all the ingredients. And I didn't know, it, but you can actually do the little plus sign even on the ultimate crafting table. So you can put all the ingredients in there at once, as Krasconi will demonstrate here. And there we go. And there we go. Achievement gets Creative Air Compressor. And 200 prestige points. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. And we're gonna place it down right there. Isn't it beautiful? You can just select how many bars of pressure you want. And you get it. Awesome. And only a few minutes later... Oh yeah, this was kind of funny. Krasikoji was like, my game is broken, I can't do anything. And he's holding this tray. He, he didn't know what was going on. But apparently, I, I didn't know this either. You can uh, pick up landing pads, like you can pick up chests. <laughs> so he was just holding a landing pad, and while you're holding a landing pad, or while, you, while you're holding anything, you can't do anything, because your hands are full. So, it was a funny bug. Well, it, w it wasn't a bug, even. <laughs> we, we just didn't know what was going on. But, a few minutes later, we are masters at timing. We made four blood tanks tier 10. All those tongue to twisters. <laughs> uh, which is the final, which are the final ingredients for the creative uh, fluid tank. Yeah. There we go. And this is how you pick up chests. So this was what Chris Coney was doing with a landing pad. <laughs> um, yeah, the last creative item. And it's my turn this time to put every ingredients into the ultimate crafting table and uh, so yeah I'm clearing my inventory here there we go and then put everything in my inventory well, of course it doesn't stack automatically so I have to click again <laughs> and then I can 
click the little plus sign if I find the right recipe. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. How does the creative fluid tank look? I don't know. Is it this one? No, that's the energy battery. Is it this one? It's this one. Okay. And then click the plus sign. There we go. It's beautiful. The last creative item. And yeah, the last advancement. No fireworks. What is this, Dark Coast, though? What have you done? No fireworks for the final achievement. Yeah, they're all done. It's unbelievable. Oh well. But yeah, yeah, we did it. And this is how it works. It's quite amazing, actually. It's uh, pretty balanced that it's so expensive and hard to make. Because it's very OP. If you have one bucket of any fluid, you can put it in there and you have an infinite amount of it. Which is very useful. Very handy. And you can uh, pick it back up. <laughs> you can also hold it. If you pick it back up and put it in your inventory, as I show here, yeah. It's empty again. So you can put another fluid in there. So you can just fill a tank with whatever fluid you like. And here's a, a practical example. So put oil in there. Now we have an infinite amount of oil. And then if we connect this to the machine thingy, look at that. Infinite oil. It's making the products as fast as it's getting the oil. Beautiful. And what we also did, but we did this before what I just showed, is made a tier 10 rocket and um, shot it into space. It's a humongous thing. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. We can do it. We can do it. Crescodio is in the rocket. He's launching it. A small step for Crescodio. A giant leap for us. <laughs> there he goes. He's a stunt flyer. Look at this beautiful figures he's making. Nice. And we're back to live commentary. And I want to show you where that rocket went. If I can find it. What's this? What's this? Ah. Here we go. And you might be thinking. But Mars Capone, you're not wearing your oxygen uh, gear. And you're right. Oh my god, what's that? Because um, on this planet, you don't need to. <laughs> so we are here at Kepler... Is it on the map somewhere? Kepler 22B. <laughs> there we are. One planet. And um, it, it's really cool. <laughs> It's an awesome planet. It's turning nighttime, unfortunately. But yeah, there's emerald ores galore. There's white icing. There's cakes everywhere. There's um, sugar canes. Emerald ores. This is coal. Are these emerald blocks? No. Well, it's emerald grit, though. I think you can turn that into emeralds, maybe. Emerald ore. There's all kinds of Weird trees. Hi guys. This is gold ore, gold ore trees with gold blocks as leaves. And that goes for all the metals, I think, or all the vanilla metals. What's this? Diamond. Diamond trees with diamond block leaves. Amazing. And what's this one? For example, iron. It's very colorful, very surreal. <laughs> I really like this planet. It's it's really cool. It's a shame it's so endgame, but otherwise it wouldn't be all that balanced. I just aggroed an Enderman. Um, yeah, I I really like how surreal it is, and um, and well, I don't know honestly because I've never been to Kepler twenty two B. Maybe you can breathe on the surface there. Maybe there's actual gold trees and. Um, Iron trees. Who knows? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> cookie rocks! It does look like a cookie. Awesome. Can we... Oh, I fell through it. 
Or maybe not. <laughs> Is this chocolate then? Liquid caramel. Oh my god. Amazing. Can I eat this? No. <laughs> I want to eat it. It looks so good. I want to eat it. I found a, a hut. Oh, there's a bat. It's going to explode, isn't it? I think it's going to explode. Are we going to try it? We're going to try it. It exploded. <laughs> Let's uh, kill that fire before it sets the whole world ablaze. And I don't want to set the world on fire. But yeah, this is the end of the episode and the end of the mod pack. I want to do one more episode. Oh, by the way, Kreskonya did some more building on this building. It's lo looking pretty epic. Um, I want to do one more episode where I show off the whole base. Let me know in the comments, do you want to see me giving a tour of the whole base? Explaining what every building does and stuff. Or do you want to see a more cinematic... Um, a cinematic view of the base with some music in the background, not hearing my voice. <laughs> I don't know what you guys prefer. But yeah, I'm gonna be honest here. Look at me, I'm gonna be honest here. Um, we have quite a bit of unfinished buildings here in this world. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna finish them before the final world tour. If you can, uh, you, you can try to convince me if you, if you want, but... I don't know if it's going to happen. For example, well, obviously, <laughs> our big base. And uh, the canteen is not quite finished. To be honest, I'm uh, the mob farm is not quite finished. I, I do... I am impressed with uh, the amount of stuff. This is not quite finished. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm quite impressed with how much we m did manage to finish. Although, to be fair, in Minecraft is anything ever really finished? In real life is any building ever really finished? As soon as the building is, is finished you have to um, start repairing the first thing you built, right? This, this area is kind of rough, not all that finished. And although these buildings are finished, we could make some paths and stuff. And one more thing I can sh show you, I guess, is over here. I was working on the museum. Is there a skeleton about? Skeleton, are you here? I don't see him. <laughs> I was working on the rocket museum because I had to raise the ceiling. I didn't quite finish by the looks of it. <laughs> but um, we do have all the rockets. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, uh, Tier 4, Tier 5, Tier 6, Tier 7, Tier 8. You don't have a pointy thingy. You're the only one to not have a pointy thingy. Uh, and tier 9. So yeah, the the walls are not quite finished. And we um, hit the outside here. <laughs> Let me show you from here. Although I think it might be cool if you just put windows in here. And let it protrude from the mountain. And then... Obviously, here's the actual rocket silo, and there's our um, most precious <laughs> rockets, the tier 10 rockets. Where are you, trumpet guy? Get out of here. <laughs> I got him. Don't worry. I'm quite happy with this building, although it's also not quite finished, unfortunately. <laughs> So yeah, feel free to suggest things for the last episode. What you want to see. And I might... I don't know, man. I don't know. If we're gonna ever finish this building. It's the, the curse of modded Minecraft. The curse of Minecraft, maybe, even. 
Um, not finishing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Although we did finish the mod pack. We did all the advancements we wanted to do. <laughs> because, uh, oh my god. <laughs> because there's these advancements, but they are specific to this mod, which is called, uh, I don't know, the Between Lands. And they're not part of the actual mod pack, they're just the Between Lands zone advancements. But we did do all of the Seftech Aegis advancements. The tutorial, the H1, the H2, the H3, the H4, and last but not least, H5. And then there's the Twilight Forest ones, and they they aren't even all implemented. So yeah, we've done all we wanted to do. It was an amazing ride, really, I enjoyed it a lot. Dark Hosto did a great job making this mod pack, putting everything together. There's little things I would like to see different, maybe. Maybe I'll talk a little more about that kind of stuff in the last episode. And, um... I enjoyed it a lot. Had a great time. I think Cresconio also enjoyed it a lot. And, um... I'm proud of us. We actually did. I'm proud of m myself too. <laughs> I think cuz th I think this is the first mod pack I ever completed. Did all the advancements and stuff. And uh, I couldn't have done it without Cresconio. I think he's uh the fact that we were playing together really made me pull through and whenever I thought things were too overwhelming um Cresconio came up with solutions and ideas and the other way around too, I think. And um, I, th I think our skills work nicely together. Good balance there. And um, I think we did a great job. And we learned a lot about modded Minecraft and stuff. And yeah, stay tuned for one more final episode world tour. And thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the last episode. But for now, goodbye and good night.